Hello, welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. My name is Rebecca. Well, today I have a special video that I'm going to share with you because this great big box, which is too big for my table, showed up today and I am so excited. Now, if you've been following me on my channel, you know that last year I did a no spin. And so I went a whole year not buying crafting stuff. And I've tried this year so far to do pretty much the same. I've really cut back on going shopping for crafting things. However, if you know me at all, you know I love Halloween and Thanksgiving and fall cards. So it happened that um, this year, HSN did this big Halloween card craft day, fall craft day event. And I just, I was not as good as I probably should have been as far as keeping control of things. So let's see what I got. I haven't done an unboxing video in forever, but let's check this out. Okay, this is um, Kingston Crafts. And I put my thing away already here. Okay, this is Kingston Crafts. And this is, they had, I thought, the cutest puffy stickers. And by the way, everything I got, I bought pretty much on good pricing. And they had, um, like, you could fill your whole cart for the whole 24 hours of only $7.50. So here we go. Let's check these out. These are puffy stickers from Kingston Crafts. And they are puffy. Yay! And, you know, excuse the paper sound. So where's it open? I'll show them to you. If I can get into them. Oh, here it is. Okay, anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I love all things paper crafting, card making, scrapbooking, um, anything like that. I'm a big fan of. Look at all of these puffy stickers. It's, I think there's two sheets of each. These are the Thanksgiving. They're nice puffy stickers. Um, this will be great for scrapbooking, this great big one. Some of these will be perfect for scrapbooking. I like that it's a mix of card size and scrapbooking size things. That is awesome. Here's some, some Halloween ones. There's a Hocus Pocus. Hey Spooky, Happy Halloween. Oh, these are fun. Um, pumpkin patch. These are just basically fall. They're not Thanksgiving or Halloween, just fall. Look at that little winking owl. <laughs> Look at the little pink one down here. Gobble gobble, some turkeys. These would make really, even on a card, a puffy sticker like this can make a really good uh, focal point sort of thing. These are really cute. Oh, another Halloween. Yay! Isn't that cute? Look at this cat. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay. And some fall, some more fall ones. So there's a lot of stickers there, and they're all really nice quality, they look like. Um, hopefully, they will be really nice and sticky. I will find out when I stick them on something the first time. And I'm going to keep this bag, but I am going to keep them in their box because that's a nice way to store them. I can just put a label on the end of the box saying what those are and those will fit real nice on my shelf. Okay. I also got, oh, Diamond Press had a big sale on enamel dots. And don't we love enamel dots, right? And they, especially these, because they came in a storage system already. Let's see what the quality of the dots is. Now, I've read the reviews. These were on sale. These were really good sale. And I read the reviews, and some people said they thought they were not puffy enough or, you know, not thick enough. And other people said they loved the thickness of them because it worked really well in scrapbooks and it made it easy to mail the card. So let's check these out and see. First off, they come in this nice little booklet here. That's just packaging. They come in a nice little booklet like this so that you can store them and this was their I believe the fall or Halloween collection 
Let's see what it is. Yeah, orange, blue, brown, cream, yellow, and purple. And that's the shapes of them. And there's 2,016 pieces. So I ought to be set for enamel dots for a while. Aren't these nice? And then they just open up on the side and you can slide them in and out. I think as I use them, I'll probably add more enamel dots to the storage book. That's a really nice way, isn't it, to store enamel dots? I mean, look at this. You can have... There's oranges, oranges. Wow, this is a nice way to be able to just flip through and look. Okay, so there was that collection. I'm going to put my... There it is. Anyway, yeah, I kind of went nuts on this time. And I, you know what got me, and we're going to see it here, was what started this whole thing was I just, I always like watching the craft day, even if I say to myself, even if I'm not going to buy anything, I like watching it on HSN because they show so many pretty cards and scrapbook pages and it just gets me kind of inspired to get into my craft room and, and do some crafting. But then there's today's special, which we'll look at because I bought one, just absolutely blew me away. So there's this collection, and these are the colors. Let me flip this over so you can see the difference in the colors. So basically, same idea, nice little storage, flip through. There's the size of them, and I think they're perfectly, they look perfectly puffy enough to me. I don't know that I'd want them any puffier. They look really nice. So there's those shapes and colors, and then I bought one more. Now, they had more shapes and colors, so, you know, yes, I splurged a little bit by getting three of them, but at least I didn't get all of them. There, I could have gotten that whole set, put that whole set collection fever thing where you have to have all the whole set, and I didn't do that. I did manage to, to maintain a little bit and keep it down to just three of them. And here's this one. And here we go. And these are the pastels. So there are pastels. There's more br the brights, and then there's the fall and Halloween ones right here. So aren't these fantastic? All right. So I got these. Let me get them out of the way. I love the binders that they're in. That just makes things so much easier. For it comes with their own storage system. That's great. Okay, let's look at some more stuff. Okay, before we get to the daily, the big special of the day, I did buy one other thing here that just caught my eye. Let me show you. I can get into it here. And it's all packaged up so nice. I don't have to worry about it. Being not packaged up. Okay. And this was the All Hallows Eve by Crafter's Companion. And it has things like this is the Happy Halloween die right here. And I'm not going to take time, it'd take too long if I opened up absolutely everything. But it's Happy Halloween, it's a die that makes this. This is the Trick or Treat Metal Cutting Die Set. And in there is a spider web, a skull and crossbones, some stars, moon, and a little vampire coffin there. Okay. It had the Wicked Witch Metal Cutting Die Set. And there's the witch, the cat, the cauldron, and a bat in here. Isn't that adorable? And it had the Haunted House Metal Cutting Die Set. So there's the house, the little tombstone with a hand coming up, and a spooky tree. Okay, it has an embellishment pack. Let's see what this is. What is an embellishment pack? Let's find out. Okay, an embellishment pack are some clear, and look at, oh, how pretty those are. Look at the colors in that. Isn't that pretty? as well as some matching ribbons that will match these. Isn't that nice? Uh, it's a pretty good embellishment set. Okay, get that out of the way. Um, this is something that caught my eye was the paper. That was, I think, probably one of the selling points is when I saw the, uh, when she flipped through the, when uh, Sarah Davies flipped through the paper, I kind of went, yeah, that's really pretty. 
that's probably one of the big selling points for me. Look at this paper. I won't go through all of them. Just kind of flip through here. I can get it unattached here. Okay. Yeah, you know, people that know me know I like making Halloween cards. So even if they're not really into Halloween, they still know they're going to get a Halloween card from me. <laughs> um, and then look at that. And it's, by the way, double-sided, in case you didn't notice that. So that's always nice. And I think I always think the Crafter's Companion papers are such a nice weight. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of the products you see me today. This is just all stuff I bought. I wanted to share with you because I was so excited about getting it. And uh, I just thought the papers were really pretty on this. Woo, that was spooky. Okay, so there's that paper. There's another die. This is a, like an edgeable that you can put on the edge here. And it's the pumpkins, spooky pumpkins on here. And then this is another die set, and it's pumpkins and a ghost. Okay, spectacular. And now here's some stamp sets. And I'll just try to hold it up so you can see. I like the little bunny mummy. <laughs> That's cute. Ghost, the little witch. The All that. Sending bugs, hisses, and Halloween wishes. Isn't that cute? Here's a stencil and stamp set. So you're getting, you get both the stencils to make the little ghosts and the cutouts for the, uh, that go in the stencil. So you can do, if you want to, you can do reverse stenciling. And then all the little faces that you can put on them right here. And then the little tombstones and the running goo and border sort of thing right here. So that will be fun. Watch for that coming in the future. Here's an embossing folder and stencil set to go with it. So you're getting the embossing folder of the scene of the haunted house, and then you get a stencil. So you can go back over on your embossing folder um, image, and you can kind of add in some color or whatever you'd like to do with that. Maybe add in some glitter paste, things like that. And then there's a stencil to make the pumpkin treat box, which is really cute. I try to make treat boxes for the children in my life. So this one's nice. I can just go ahead and cut that out and fix that all up. And that makes a really cute little treat box. So all of this was the All Hallows Eve. Now you would think that would be enough. and I. But the thing is, is I already bought the other one and then I saw this one. So I actually got this after I got the today's special. So I ended up getting both. So let me move this out of the way and show you the big one here. This is the today's special. And so they had both the fall, for the today's special, you could get either the fall collection or the winter collection. And I am like really super stocked up on Christmas stuff. I will probably not buy any any Christmas um, craft supplies this year because I got some um, in January that had gone on sale and here we are hello fall and one thing and again I'm not sponsored at all I just love how crafters companion packages things I think it's so pretty um, let me get into the break the seal here ah. And I'm always torn whether I should open up everything and then show you all or just let you see the with delight with me. And I like letting you see the delight with me, but it takes a minute sometimes to open. Okay, hello fall. And here we go. Now, one of the things that she said is that she would put on the back, there's a little code there so that I can go and see some of the things that for inspiration of what they've made. And let's look in here and see what was in the today's special Hello Fall box. Well, first thing I see is some black glitter, and it's got a really pretty shine to it. Um, you know, it's, I mean, I know glitter is shiny, but this has almost a, a luminescence to it that's a little bit different. I don't know if I'll take this wrapping off, so maybe you can see better. Do you see that? That's showing up at all. It's really pretty. I'm not going to open it. You don't open glitter unless you have a 
you prepped for that. Oh, <laughs> anyway, it has some stamps. That Happy Thanksgiving. Tis the season to be spooky. Hello, autumn. Hello, fall. So very thankful. Looking beautiful. Eat, drink, and be scary. Pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. Happy pumpkin spice season. I'm so grateful for you and happy Halloween. So some nice all good all purpose stamps for all of fall. Now she made this box that she don't need a die cutting machine. So everything that she put in this box was already die cut or laser cut. So these are some laser cut uh, little barrel wheelbarrow and leaves and pumpkin and a gourd and it looks like I can't tell for sure how many but it looks like there's at least two maybe three sheets in there so that's nice some black real pretty sparklies some black enamel dot sort of but now these are these are not just enamel these are big these are like actual half a pearl half their flat backs um, a happy Halloween and a trick-or-treat stamp there's some uh, cord to use as an embellishment. There's these little silver pumpkins to add in. Aren't those pretty? Those look like jewelry quality. You know, I always, I put these things on cards and I always think, oh, I hope the person, if they're going to throw away the card after, you know, because a lot of people don't keep their cards when you send them cards, which I know as card makers, our heart just twists. But anyway, but those, for those people that don't, I always think, well, I hope they at least take that off and stick it on a chain or something when they're that good of quality. But look how pretty those little silver pumpkins are. There's some tags that are pre-cut. Isn't that nice? Those will be fun to decorate. Let me see what this is. This is a glitter paste. It's in, um, let's see the color better, bronzy color. Does it say what color it is? It doesn't say what color it is just says glitter paste hello fall and they made it special so that for this collection um, this is a liquid glue in here this is um, for gilding for the gilding fla uh, flakes so they sent you know these orangey gold gilding flakes and then the glue that you put on and you let it dry just down a little bit and then you put the flakes on and then you have a spongy there to brush them off you got three um, new inks that were made just for this collection, which I'm excited about. I go through ink, of course, a lot. So this one is called Forest Green. This one is called Autumn Night, which uh, to me looks pretty black. Forest Green's a real deep green. And then this one's called Pumpkin. So, of course, that would work out really great for fall, right? So brand new ink inks there has these cute little wooden pumpkins and wooden leaves and which is fun because you can do all sorts of things you can add gilding flakes to these and make them all sparkly you can add glitter paste you can add alcohol inks um, you can color them in with your alcohol inks you can leave them wooden i think just the wood is pretty so that's fun Okay, this is some um, embossed because, again, you don't need a, for anything in the box, you don't need a die cutting machine or an embossing folder system. So she sent embossed with pumpkins paper, which I think is really pretty. And I like the color of it. And let's see what it feels like. Oh, yes, it's that nice, thick, quality um, Crafter's Companion paper. Okay, very nice. And she sent some uh, card blanks here and some, uh, which is really nice because it's in that pearlescent. Look how pretty that is. I'm so sorry about the crinkle sound. Oh, I'll hurry it through. Okay. Look at these card bases. And they're both, they're that, have that beautiful sheen to them in both the kind of ivory colored and then there's even black. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's so pretty. And it is not white core, so that's really gorgeous. Okay. Here's the envelopes for those. All that, so all the envelopes. There's some uh, really pretty black satin ribbon right there. Here are just some, um, like, would be card, like, you know, back backgrounds to make your backgrounds on that match the card stocks. You can use them as matting layers, anything like that. 
These are all pre-cut, which is really helpful. Again, because if this, she designed this kit with the idea that you wouldn't have to have a die cutting machine. And they're in black and in green and in that orangey. And you just pop them out. See, they just pop out. So hello, fall. So, so some sentiments with gold foiling. And I don't have a really great foiling system, so um, that's just cool. And then these are some of the laser cut things that she included. And I don't know how well these are going to show up on camera, especially the black ones. But let me skip down. Here's some leaves. And see, they come in. The leaves have other colors, too. But they're laser cut, too, for your edges. So instead of having to use an edgeable die and make your edges, it's already laser cut. And look how detailed those are. Same with these that are in white. And again, the ones in white, you can color them with ink. You can uh, add some uh, gilding flakes. You can do all sorts of stuff with these. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, okay. This is a box. I can tell by the way it's scored. This will fold up and make like a, this will come fold because I see a score line here. I see a score line here. So this will give you a pie shaped box. Like if you were giving somebody a piece of pie. <laughs> okay. And on here we have all little faces that you can add to a pumpkin. You know, you, if I stencil, um, I can ink, ink blend, and then I can um, add faces for all these. And there's a leaf and a bat and another leaf to go with the faces. Look, more laser cut beautiful pieces. Isn't that gorgeous? And these are boxes, I can tell. Obviously, uh, these are a little more obvious because of the cut lines and everything. But isn't it fun to make treat boxes for the fall? Okay. Um, this is some acetate, but I had to show you this. This is something I thought was really pretty when she was showing it on the TV. Was, isn't that, I don't know how well, let me put the boxes down behind it. Isn't that pretty? The foiling on that acetate, and there's two of those. And then, there's two bats, which are like a holographic sort of paper. Isn't that pretty? That will be fun. Okay, let's the boxes out. There's some laser, more laser cut, like for edges or cards. There's some vellum. Oop, there's different vellums in here. Let's see what the different vellums are. I think vellum is so pretty and elegant to work with. I love it see what she put on here. We've got pumpkins with gold foil, or not gold, orange foil, I mean, and the leaves with the gold foil in vellum. Isn't that pretty? Isn't vellum elegant? Okay. And lastly, at the bottom here, are some more of her wonderful papers. I think Sara Davies and Craft Your Companion really does have some beautiful papers. And I'll just flip through these pretty quick. Aren't these pretty? Okay. So that is all the goodies that I went nuts with for this last HSN craft day. Let me know if you went shopping on craft day. What are your favorite things? What did you think about the stuff you got? And, you know, of course, you're going to see me working with this down the road. There will be pictures on Instagram and, and maybe even future videos of process videos making some of these things. But in the meantime, happy paper crafting. Mm -hmm.